We've all seen the movies E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Contact. Just like the movies, scientists are looking for extraterrestrial life in space from southern Arizona. We sent News Force Todd Koontz to see if they've found anything. Is there life out there? And if there is, if there's somebody out there, perhaps they want to communicate with us. So to answer that age-old question, two scientists from Leeds, England, and two from the U.S. have their eyes looking heavenward atop Mount Hopkins right here in southern Arizona. It would be very sad if we were just to sit here and not look. They're looking for blinking lights. No, not UFOs, but rather light from distant planets. We're basically looking for flashes in the night sky that are very possibly faint and very, very small in size, smaller than the size of the area of the moon. The traditional larger telescopes that you're used to seeing are radio telescopes. Basically, they listen for sound waves, radio waves. This telescope gathers light from space. All the light is bounced off these mirrors, collected, and focused onto one little point onto this high-speed camera. The surprise has been how powerful this technique is. For the last three years, Joachim Rose and his astronomical team have studied data collected from these very telescopes at the Whipple Observatory. Hidden in our data, there may be flash, maybe other, maybe these flashes. They're about to wrap up looking back through five years of archived data. The question is, have they found ET? In a nutshell, we, we didn't find a signal. But is it out there? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do think is we should have a look. We have the data. We should look into the data whether we can find any signals. We should not close our eyes. At the Whipple Observatory, Todd Coons, News 4. Now, the scientists say they'd like to team up with the astronomers from a group called SETI, or S-E-T-I. They're looking at radio signals, so this way they could cross-reference the radio signals and the light signals and be looking in the same areas of space. Now, this kind of research apparently is working some. Released today, while Todd was up on the mountain, astronomers say they have found a new planet outside of our solar system. What makes this significant is that the planet is supersized. It's about eight times the size of Jupiter. Well, this is a particularly interesting planet because it's very heavy, uh, it's very big, it's uh, bigger than Jupiter, and it's very close to its star, and uh, uh, so uh, it's very hot also, unfortunately, not, uh, not good for humans to live on. Making Southern Arizona proud, though, the planet was discovered by an astronomer in Cambridge, Massachusetts, but he was using the very telescopes at the Whipple Observatory on Mount Hopkins.